Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is a really important topic where we'll discuss how to convert your sensitivity to any video game on PC. This is an important topic because we'll break down how to do it without any software, just using plain old measuring tape, and also a website to convert your sensitivity, which is my personal favorite, uh, mousesensitivity.com. So let's start out with the free method, using measuring tape or a ruler to map out your inches per 360. What you're going to do is you want to find an empty wall in a video game. You're going to shoot it, and we're going to measure how long the distance is until you get to that same single point. So what you do in other video games is you'll shoot a wall, and you will do the same distance and see how long it takes until you reach that same point, which is how you map out your same inches per 360. So first, you're going to lay out the measuring tape. Then you're going to shoot a single point on the wall right in front of you. Then you're going to do a full 360 until you hit that point on the wall again. Then look down at the measuring tape and see the inches per 360. If you hop into another game, you will use that distance as a measurement for your sensitivity. It's not pinpoint accurate because you have trial and error through your own experience right rather than using converter but this is a nice free method especially if there was no converter that exists in that video game this one can be more time consuming though but it is free and it's a good way to make sure your math checks out on the converters now one website i utilize very heavily is mousesensitivity.com i know there's tons of free versions but this one is happens to be one that i love and use and i've actually been grandfathered in because I've just been on the website for so long. The way I'm converting is by using, as discussed earlier, inches per 360. So in real time, I'm going to walk through the website and explain some of the settings. And keep in mind, it does cost a few dollars to use the advanced settings. So I'm going to go into real time and talk through the website, converting a few games. Another point is monitor distance. Note, this is not inches per 360. It is based upon your FOV, what's taking up the screen real estate. Higher FOV will result in a faster sensitivity, and low FOV will result in a way slower sensitivity. It's simply matching the sensitivity based on screen real estate space. I hope that makes sense. An exercise to try, keep the same sensitivity for hip fire and try flicking on the lowest FOV versus the highest. That will feel different based on the monitor distance and what you can physically see versus the actual space, aka inches per 360. Now, let us get into the website. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna to get to the mousesensitivity.com. So I have my own settings here. Obviously, I'm in advanced mode and I use units, inches per 360. You can change this to centimeters, that's perfectly fine. And I convert from sensitivity, not distance. And I'll show that in just a minute. I keep everything else one to one. I don't touch any of these settings and I'm looking for inches per 360, like I discussed monitor distance and view distance. I might have accidentally mixed these kind of two up, but nonetheless, the point still stands that your FOV is what you're kind of matching in terms of monitor one-to-one -one, or view distance one-to-one, -one, view speed, how, how fast it is. So it might have been view speed, so I apologize if I might have misspoken on that. It is very early in the morning, and I'm trying to do this uh, best as possible. So nonetheless, let's get continue to go right into it. So I'm going to convert from Apex Legends. My sensitivity is 1.32, 800 dpi, which calculates to 15.5 inches per 360. My FOV is 101, and I'm going to match my hip fire. I'm going to do in-game. I'm not going to do the config file for now, and I'm going to match this, let's say, to Warzone. So currently to match the Warzone, obviously I'll make sure this is 800 DPI. It's hip fire. The FOV, I'll just leave alone, put legacy, make sure that it's independent for now. So my inches per 360 for my hip fire, hip fire to hip fire, is going to be 4.4. Now if I do the same and I find another game, let's say, uh, let's go through the list here. Let's say we want to do Overwatch, right? Right now it's going to stack up to aim all. I want to do hip fire. Make sure the DPI is 800, FOV is just, I'm going to leave it alone. It's going to be in game. So it's going to be 4.4 as well. Wow, that's convenient. Now let us do, they must use similar engines. Not really similar engines, but similar calculations. Let's say I was going to do Fortnite. I'll do Fortnite real quick. Same thing. I'm going to switch this to hip fire. I know you can do kind of, I'm just going to leave it on all so you can see all the sensitivity settings. So what's going to be the difference here? This is actually a really good point. So I'm going to leave it at 800. That's fine. So my hip fire is going to be 5.2 for my inches per 360. Now, if I want my zooms to match my hip fire, these are the calculations I need for it to be my hip fire speed. 
Now I'm going to make sure that makes a little more sense. I'm going to switch to in-game in Apex Legends. Now how, how I do this, I'm going to show Apex Legends one more time. Let's say I wanted my hip fire to match my 3x, right? And I'm my sensitivity into this 1.32. So what I'm matching here, I want my zoom sensitivity. I'm going to make sure it doesn't say config file. I'm going to say in-game. Make sure that all this is fine. Don't need to touch any of this. I'm not doing monitor distance. I'm not doing view distance. I'm doing inches per 360. Just something to be mindful of. My sensitivity is 3.28, which equates to 15.49, which is really, really close in terms of inches per 360. Now I'm going to go in game. I'm going to show the difference between inches per 360 and what view distance or monitor distance really is. And again, I apologize for mixing those up. Please don't hate me. Please don't leave a dislike. But if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and love to get more into the discussion. So let's hop into in game on Apex Legends next. Perfect. Now we're in game. We're going to grab a G7. We're going to grab a 3x. I'm going to probably put it away, a 3x for now. So you see my hip fire distance between these two distances, right? Put on the 3x. This is it whenever it is one to quote unquote one to one. I'm going to go in the settings, but notice how that speed is different. You're just going to have to trust my hand is not doing anything different in terms of speed. I'm literally doing the same motion and it slows down, right? Now I'm going to go to my settings. See how this is one? This is scaling. This is making sure the distance is slowed down based on the FOV. This is naturally what happens in most video games. So if I change this to 3.28, which is going to match my inches per 360, as indicated on this screen here, I went back to it for just a split second. See how we converted, making sure that my hit fire matches my 3x sense, right? So now what you're going to see is going to be way faster. See how this distance is pretty quick? And it's just simply more zoomed in. This is a really, really important point when talking about inches per 360. I have a lot more experience when talking about inches per 360. Now, if I change it to one, notice how it's going to be. I'm going to have the same movement with my hand, but it's going to be much slower. All right. See? See how it's not occupying the same space because it's not the same inches per 360. It is slower. So I'm going to switch that back up and do this. See how it looks like it's much faster, but it's occupying that same space. All I'm doing is jiggling my hand the same distance. This is inches per 360. Now, monitor distance and view distance is a little more difficult, and I might have misspoken on both the two, um, just because it's been a while since I've calculated the both. Obviously, monitor distance is if I were showing my screen right now on the monitor, it would go from point one end of it to the other end of it, making sure that the distance makes sense. So let's say if you had a 49 inch monitor versus a 24 inch view distance, obviously the view distance that you have on screen pointing from point A to point B. I might correct this um, and put a little overlay talking about the difference between the two, but there is calculators on here. Like I mentioned, there is calculators on here to convert view distance rather than um, inches per 360. So there is that option where you have monitor distance, horizontal, vertical, view distance horizontal vertical now the dis the difference between these two why i prefer inches per 360 personally is that i know that that point on the the screen in game is going to be relatively the same the difference between most games is how they handle field of view and what is perceived in terms of overall distance it's kind of like having a different camera lens i've explained this before in my fov video where somebody can have a really really tight lens and it feels like the motion is just super fast or they can have a wide lens and it feels like the movement is a lot slower right they do this in action movies that are described before in that video um, whenever they're trying to get up close and personal on the action Hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm more than happy to go in depth. If anything, if you got to the end of the video, type in your inches per 360. I'll be more than happy to calculate it from one game to another. Now keep in mind, what is different is the field of view. You have to match the field of view for it to feel relatively similar and games calculate the field of view differently. So even if I give you the same inches per 360, it may not be exact because the game, the way it calculates field of view, for example, Apex Legends 2, Overwatch. Overwatch handles their field of view a little different. Maybe Call of Duty as well, because it's kind of similar on that regard. Again, I really appreciate you guys watching this. I know this video is very long overdue. I'm really excited to talk about it. And Inches Per 360, I'm very passionate about. It's a very passionate subject. Just g getting that muscle memory all the same. Something that you practice in one game just doesn't disappear when you go to the other. 
So again, so I'm rambling at this point. I apologize, but I get really pumped up about this topic. I love to have a conversation down in the comments talking about monitor distance as well as view distance. I have a general understanding of it, but I've always put all my time and effort into inches per 360 because that's what seemed to help more with me and I can get a more exact calculations. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you had a better experience with monitor distance. I know this kind of goes into uniform soldier aiming as well in battlefield, which is a setting I personally did not prefer that kind of threw me off just a little bit. I know that also has a different whole calculation and whole mess on its own, but nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll stop uh, and I'll look forward to having a conversation with you guys in the comment section. I'll talk to you guys soon.